Hey, just wanted to let you guys know that there is a new Boom design available on shirts and hoodies on MeLikeBigBoom.FanFiber.com, so be sure to check it out in the description down below. Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.14.4. This week's update is an interesting one. It adds all sorts of different items, like food items, a new gun, I guess you could call it a gun, a new weapon, new aspects like the dead zone node, and flags to claim a location. Without further ado, let's get right into the new items that were added. Now to start, we have the new claim flag, which has an ID of 1158, and initially when I put this down, I was a little bit confused as to what it does. I figured maybe it was just a flag that you could put on your base and congratulations you have a flag on your base. But there's actually quite a bit more to it. In fact if you read the description of it, it protects an area from other players building. So if you go down to place one you will notice that there is a green circle surrounding the entire place that moves with it dependent on its location. And basically once you put this flag down other players will not be able to build in the radius of this. They will need to destroy the flag first. So this is actually really nice to be able to put inside your base so that people have to destroy your flag before they're able to put some of their own things in the base itself. This also means that they can't like build a ladder over the walls that you spend an hour making. So overall, I do think it's a pretty interesting idea. I'm also experimenting with YouTube's new poll cards, so be sure to cast your votes on the right hand side of the screen. Also, we have some new food items, as you might have been able to see right here. We have dough and maple syrup, of which have different crafting recipes that combined with like milk and eggs and stuff like that can be used to create pancakes, waffles, or donuts, or if you get more complex and add some beef and cheese and stuff like that, you can make yourself a pizza. Oh yeah! Now if you are next to a campfire, you will notice that in the supplies category of the crafting we now have new food items. If you combine one dough and one maple syrup, you get donuts. If you combine milk, eggs, and maple syrup, you get a pancake. If you combine three dough, one cheese, two tomatoes, one hunk of beef, you get pizza, and two pieces of dough with maple syrup creates a waffle. You guys should vote whether or not you prefer waffles or pancakes. It's a very controversial question. Additionally, you can just drink the syrup right out of the bottle. And you can also just eat the raw dough, though it's probably not the best idea. It hurt me by two sickness. Although I do have my vitality skill up, so keep that in mind. Now when I said that there was a new gun added and then kind of hesitated as to why it might not be considered a gun, it's because there was a nail gun added. And now, well, there's gun in the name nail gun, so maybe it is a gun, okay? But it's an unconventional gun at that. And this is actually really cool. This has been on the Trello to-do list for quite a while. It's just a little nail gun that shoots these little uh, nail gun magazine things. Um, it's pretty cool, and it's actually pretty, uh, pretty good. You can shoot it super fast. It has a cool noise if you listen here. Shoots super fast. Has very, very little recoil as expected. And I'm sure you can find this in hardware stores and stuff like that. And also the only attachment slots are the tactical attachment slots. You can put on a tactical laser or a range finder or something of that nature onto your nail gun and be super MLG nail gun. It's pretty cool. Also down at the dock that I made down here, there is a new boat added and you might be able to tell from here. It is a police boat or its specific name, a police launch. And this is just a nice simple four seater boat that looks a lot like the runabout except it's got a little frame that goes over the driver's seat and stuff like that. And it's just pretty cool. It's just a nice simple four Seater. You can press control to turn on the sirens and uh, it has a top speed of 67 kilometers per hour. Also there is a dead zone node added which currently is only in the Yukon map but basically once you're within the radius of this node you begin taking sickness damage as if it's like radiation or something. If you are wearing the biohazard suit, you are completely protected from that sickness damage, and it's pretty cool. I think other games have implemented this idea as well. I always thought it was a good idea, and also people who create custom maps can put this on their own maps. Pretty cool. Also, when accessing the map and looking around, you can press this button right here to center the map on your character's location. Suppressors now have their own independent durability. So if you access your attachments, you will notice that my suppressor here has 100% quality, but if I go ahead and start spraying down all these zombies, my quality went all the way down to 46%. I mean, the quality goes down super fast, maybe a little bit too fast, to be honest. Uh, but once that actually reaches zero, the suppressor is no longer effective, and it now just sounds like a regular gun. And this is actually really nice, in all honesty, because suppressors are just so 
overused. Like everybody is using a suppressor and I really think that they should only be used for spec op scenarios. Maybe if you're raiding a base or something and you need to be all sneaky, that is when you use a suppressor. But right now just everybody is using a suppressor for everything and now you really, really need to take care of that suppressor and make sure you're only using it when you really need to. If you'd like to repair a military suppressor that has 0% quality, it takes 4 metal scrap and 1 blowtorch as a tool. Also, if you've ever built a house in Unturned, you know that it can be a little bit difficult to find exactly what you're looking for in the giant list of things that take just logs to make. So now if you're specifically looking for a pillar, you can search for pillar and you can instantly find it. Also, there were a few people that didn't like being forced to have the black interface, so now you can specify whether or not you want the black interface or the white interface from before. I specified for the color of my UI to be orange, so that's why it's orange instead of white, but you can of course change that by sliding all these to the right. Also, I thought this was pretty cool. If you have super low health, you will notice that your hands start trembling, and this will make shooting obviously pretty difficult. Lastly, and this is something that has been requested a lot and been in plan for quite a while, you can now activate the electromagnets of the bottom of the sky crane. So now you can park an APC underneath that sky crane, get inside, press control, and it will clamp that vehicle to the bottom of the sky crane, and you can take off in transport this APC or road store or even a boat, whatever it is, from place to place. Unfortunately, this can only be done in single player. I think it's just the movement or something in multiplayer is just a little bit too wonky. So you will unfortunately not be able to drop an APC on your pals when they need backup, but you can still act like you're doing the same thing in single player by pressing control and releasing that APC and dropping it down below. Anyway, that's pretty much everything that was added in Unturned 3.14.4. There were a few minor little tweaks and fixes that I didn't show in this video, but if you guys would like to check those out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.